What's up, guys? Tony here from Paradise Garage and LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Hope everyone is doing well. Type in the chat super quickly. Let me know if you are a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member or not, and also where you guys are tuning in from. Um, I know we got people from all parts of the world. Just let me know if the audio is good, the video is good. Uh, type some comments in the chat. Let me know what is up, and I'm going to go over here and check uh, the comments section. Again, just let me know if the audio and the video is good. Um, Want to make sure I'm not speaking to the ghosts here in the ether webs. Um, so go ahead, guys. It's Tony here from Paradise Garage and LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Just making sure. Looks like we're live. Looks like we're live. Okay. Just trying to set some things up here for you guys super quickly. And again, guys, this is your time. So whatever auto body questions that you have, feel free to type them in. Um, if you're stuck on a particular stage doing the body work process or you don't know what paint to use or whatever the, you know, whatever the questions are, pump them in here and we will make sure we help you out. Um, is the chat working today? Let me know. Type in the chat, guys. Let me know if the chat's working. Um, let's see. Let's check the audio here. Who's early? I'm early. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm a little early today. Um, sorry about that. I am early. I did not. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm a little early today, guys. My bad, but let's go ahead and get it done. I kind of screwed up on the time, or maybe I should just come back. I totally screwed up today. Let's just do it. Let's just do it right now, and then we'll we'll do it again later. What's up, Bill Taylor? Lifetime VIP, Michigan. Anthony Garu, you're there. Arnold Ricchetti, VW. Hey, Tony, what's going on? Tone after two weeks, my chat is working. And yeah, I kind of screwed up here, guys. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on an hour early, but let's just do it anyway. Maybe I'll come back on in another hour and do it again, but I totally screwed up. It's one o'clock. I don't know how I don't know how I did this, but it is what it is. So hopefully maybe we're, we'll get some new people on an hour early, you know, that people who never made it on uh, at the eight o'clock uh, Eastern time. But let's just get it going, man. Let's just get it going. So what's up, VW? What's up? What's up? Um, so this is the Learn Auto Body and Paint Q&A. Whatever you guys got, any type of questions, we'll just answer them right now. Um, if not, maybe I'll just redo this thing in the next 55 minutes or so. Maybe not. I don't know. So how's everybody doing? What, what you guys working on? Bill Taylor, I noticed you were kind of doing a little bit of... Um, decals on the top of the roof of your mini you're thinking I, I am thinking you should just do some sort of wrap maybe a uh, big question when does the van project start actually that's a great question because i would be starting it now but i only have a week this friday is my daughter's birthday so we're planning for that i have some videos i gotta edit um including the 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 van project basically letting everybody know the van one so we're, we have that video coming out in the next day or so um so that's going to come out the actual starting of filming and body working i wanted to do it before i left to dallas i'm actually going to dallas on the 18th of this month next week monday i'm going to be flying um to basically bring back all of my stuff in a 40-foot container 
including my 67 Chevelle, um, all my other toys, my Japanese mini truck, all that stuff. And I'll be back here on the 30th and all of my stuff should get here about 10, 10 to 14 days after I get here. But uh, the van project, we will start once I get back because there's no sense of me starting to go crazy now. I only have a week. I got a bunch of things to get done uh, before I leave, um, including, including putting out another content video on the Honda Grand project for you guys um, to show you the in-depth of that project. There's still hours and hours and hours of film on that project that I want to get out to you guys. So that's coming. Um, I'm sure you guys seen the gate video. Any, anybody on here seen me paint the gate, the, the gate on the front of the property? We actually put some single stage automotive paint on it after spraying it with epoxy primer. Um, I think you guys saw that. And the, the van we're going to be doing as soon as I get back um, because I will be needing some tools that I'm going to be getting back from the container. So the van is probably going to take a good month to six weeks to complete. We're going to film the step-by-step -step process of the whole thing. We're going to completely pimp it out. Um, I'm not sure what color we're going to do yet, but I'm thinking of doing like a striping, turn it into like a beach van, surf van look, because I'm out here on the North Shore. You know, we'll do multi-tone striping, something like that. Maybe, maybe we'll probably, most likely, definitely, we'll be doing some sort of glitter and candy graphic in it somewhere. Okay. With a solid color mixture. I don't know. It's going to be multiple colors. Uh, that thing is going to be an epic little project. I started ordering some parts for it. Uh, we're getting some cool tail lights for the back. I got the window louvers for the back to cover the, the back windows up. Uh, I might get a light bar kit for the top. I don't know if I want to go the light bar style or go with like the, the round lights or go with basically the, uh, what do you call them? Uh, in the front of semis, there's these little marker lights, uh, at, you know, going through the on the top of the roof. I'm not sure if I might. I don't know what I'm, we're going to do, but we're going to do something super cool, make it pop out, make it stand out. And um, the van project, you're going to you all of you guys going to get step by step detailed videos, what products, paints, you know, the auto body process, the cheat process. If we do any cheating techniques in there, I'll show you how to do that if you guys are on a budget. Um, we're going to do a lot and we're going to show you how to get it done, you know, cost effectively and, you know, having the, having, having the thing come out beautiful in your favor, you know, um, by not going crazy, but materials are going up nowadays, guys, materials are expensive. You know, we're not going to lie about that. <laughs> so there you go, Bill. Um, that was the, uh, the answer to that. But in the meantime, we will have probably two more videos come out this week, later this week, uh, announcing the van project and the game plan, okay? Uh, and then a Honda Grom video. So we got two more pieces coming out. I will be busy in Dallas for at least 10 days. From the 18th to 30th, I'm going to be packing my butt off. Maya's coming with me. We're going to be vlogging the whole thing, you know, showing you guys the shop. How many of you guys want to see... How many of you, a lot of guys on here, I think you guys seen my shop in Dallas, but how many guys have never seen it? Type in the comment, you've never seen it. Uh, we'll probably go live a couple times just to say what's up. Maybe cranking, you know, starting up the Chevelle again and getting that, pulling that out of the garage. And like, you know, we will, we will be, we will be making content um, from Dallas. Hey, early is always good. Late, never good. On time is actually late. <laughs> uh, what do I got to do to replace clear coat on a car? So depending on how it looks, you know, I don't know how it looks. If you guys want to send me some images or video, send them to Tony at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Send me the video or images and I could kind of give you a better idea. Uh, most likely if your clear coat is flaking off, faded, you know, not looking good. It's probably time to repaint it. And, you know, it, it, I always say this, if you're going to be going through the auto body process, you never want to just put new clear coat on top of old clear coat. Okay. Your, your best bet is to sand it, prep it and repaint it. Okay. Depending on how bad the paint is, you might want to prime certain areas. Okay. And then block it out and paint it. Um, 
some areas you, you might be okay. You might be able to just put paint, new base coat right on top of it, followed by clear coat. If you're doing a custom job, you want to go all out, you have the budget, you might want to sand it all down, prime it, you know, prime the areas that need to be primed, block that out, seal it, you know, and then put base coat, clear coat on it or single stage enamel, whatever you're doing. So if you guys are new, um, that sounds like a, a newbie question. It's Goldie Baby. Um, you might want to definitely check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. I'm going to drop the link over here quickly. You can get some free training, a free downloadable guide, and videos that will hit your inbox. Um, and if you feel like checking out VIP, check out the special offer we got going for Learn Auto Body VIP. Um, there's a community behind it. Um, you are priority. If you have any questions to me, you know, you send me a video of what you're working on. I'll reply back to you, um, with a video that any, that everybody can benefit from. So definitely check that out. Um, Aiden says, so I did a flake job, coated it twice with clear, but the next, when you sand it with 800 grit to smooth it out, the flakes were that were red turned to Chrome. What did I do wrong? So Basically, you know, the I don't think you did anything wrong. You need to put more clear coat on it. You didn't flow coat it. And the flake that you were using was pretty much uh, a red, red coated flake. So when you sanded it, it turned the pits of it, you know, pieces of it silver. So what I like to do is mix my flake in an inner coat like a candy an inner coat candy so and you could even use silver flake but because it's mixed in a red inner coat candy it'll look red you'll, you'll have that red flake look even if you're using silver mini flake okay or silver flake so um you know i'm not sure what you want to do there because what you did was you sanded the flake and it took the color off of it it took the red color off the flake and that it does happen, you know? So that's why when I use flake, you're gonna you're gonna make sure, if you're using a color flake, you're gonna wanna make sure you bury it with a lot of clear coat, okay? So what you could do is spray your initial clear coat down, okay? Spray your flake and then spray clear coat on top of it to try to bury it as much as possible before you sand it with 800 grit. Okay, that's what you got to do. And then you can flow coat it, two coats of clear coat on top of that. <clears throat> um, we answered this question. Let's see. Aiden, I answered that question as well. Just trying to come down here. Thank you, Arnold, for uh, typing that in there. Sorry, guys. I'm early. I thought I thought it was I, – I just totally blanked out on the time. Uh, my flake job took eight coats of clear to do just saying, so guys, when you're doing custom and especially if you're doing jumbo flake, it's not a simple, well, it's simple. It's a simple process, but it's more demanding. Okay. Because it's going to take, it's a lot more labor intensive when you're working with jumbo flake and flake paint jobs custom, because you got to put a lot of product. You have to spray a lot of material and it's not just spraying in one sitting. You know, it's not like, okay, I'm going to put two, three coats of clear and I'm done. You got to let that dry for a good week. You know, if you want to do it right, I like to let my clear coat sit up longer, the better, you know, one, two weeks. If you have the time, let that cure and then you sand it and then you flow coat it two, three more coats. See how that is. Usually, you know, when once you're in four or five coats, you should be good. Okay, depending on how well you buried your initial flake. All right. Um, but then Arnold here said he did it, he had to put eight coats. That's a lot of paint, guys. You know, especially if you're doing a large area. You know, imagine if you're working on a full van metal flake, metal flake, that's a lot of paint. You're putting five gallons of paint on that thing, you know. That's 40 pounds of material. Me <laughs> probably more, but give or take, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Miguel, I do custom car audio fiberglass doors and audio boxes. Sweet. I use um 30-gallon compressor, which I use a high-volume, low-pressure spray gun. I also have 
uh, the spray guns, what would you recommend? I also have HE. Okay, HE. Uh, what would you recommend? I would say either or, either or, but I would say if you're going with a high volume, low pressure on a small compressor like that, it's going to eat up a lot of, um, a lot of your volume, your tank is going to, your air is going to disperse very quickly, you know? So I would look into a low volume, low pressure spray gun. Um, you might want to check out, uh, the, atom guns but look at the the low volume low pressure versions it doesn't have to be out it could be any gun you want to get but look into getting a low volume and the only reason why i'm recommending the x88 uh version which i just posted right now is because it it consumes a lot less for some reason i don't know what it is but when i sprayed my gate and my motorcycle project the at you know it really takes a lot less than a regular low volume, low pressure gun, like PSI wise. I don't know why, but I've been spraying some glossy ass finishes at 22 pounds um, with the clear coat. You know, normally you want to be spraying at 24, five, six, you know, seven, depending on your clear coat mixture and, and, and yada, yada. But, um, but yeah, check those guns out. If you're, if you're looking into a new gun, um, Bill Taylor wanted to tell you in the VIP training, I often refer to the color change video on the RAV4. It was a great step-by-step -step for anyone, anyone wanting to do a color change. Awesome. Thank you so much, Bill Taylor. Uh, yes, guys, definitely check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. Get the free training first. Um, if you decide that you want to join VIP, join us. Um, it's super affordable. There's over 200 hours of content, step-by-step -step videos. If you want to learn how to do you know, candy painting, painting with pearls, flakes, um, two-tone paint jobs, single stage paint jobs, base coat, clear coat, full color change paint jobs, custom paint jobs on motorcycles, on mini trucks, on BMWs. There's tons of projects in there. Um, we talk about safety. We talk about tools, you know, the guns you need, the compressors you need, everything A to Z step by step. And we're adding more content this year. Um, and we've been adding content, new content every single year. But I think this year we're going to have more content being added in the next two years um, than we've ever done because we're actually we, we have a lot of things to work on. So, um, you know, check out VIP, learn auto body VIP. There's going to be a lot of new content uploaded, organized. So you guys can just go in there and be like, OK, I'll just follow this A to Z because Look, you guys can go in on YouTube and look at all of this stuff for free. You can, but everybody's method is different, okay? And there's no real community support. When you join VIP, we're a family here. We're a community. And I jump on live every single Monday to help you out with your projects. If you guys want to send me some videos to review images or whatever, we're here to help. Plus, we got the Facebook group with all the other guys in there helping each other. So it's, it's, it's really a beautiful thing. Bo Duke, sup, Tony? I bought an inflatable booth and, and plan on painting soon. With the weather being hot, do I need a slow reducer for everything, sealer, base, and clear? Yes, absolutely. I would definitely use slow temperature reducers and activators. Um, the only thing I would tell you to be careful about with the inflatable booths is they are not watertight. A lot of them are not watertight. And if you have that thing set up outside and it rains... OK, even with the fans blowing the thing inflated, a lot of them have clear plastic panels, you know, basically clear plastic windows on the top section. And when it rains, it'll puddle up there and you'll also get leaks coming in through the stitches. It's a friend of mine had that issue. Two people actually two people that I know here had that issue with their inflatable boots uh, spray booths and they were different brands. I don't remember the brand names, but I would just say, be careful if it's raining. Okay. Make sure you're doing it on a, on a sunny day, not raining, um, where you're not going to get water because the last thing you want when you're painting, you know, just imagine, just imagine finishing your paint job and it's came out excellent. And then it starts raining. Okay. Or it starts raining while you're painting, you know, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully this that helps. Okay. 
Um, let's see. How can I fix a dry spot? Should I send it with 800 and re-clear re it? Yes, absolutely. You can do that. Um, you can absolutely do that. But if you're painting, if you are already painting, you're in the process of spraying and you notice a dry spot, go back and just wet it. Go back and hit it. Okay. Because while you're painting is the time to go back if you have to and fix it. Okay. Don't feel like, oh man, it's dry and I'm, I'm worried about the flash time. I don't want to go back and clear, clear the whole panel again, you know, give it that extra clear coat. Because for me, I would, I would rather have more clear coat or a run on my panel than not enough clear coat because it's a pain in the butt because sometimes if it's too dry, okay. And it's done. Sometimes you don't have enough clear coat to cut. It's not, it's not enough clear on it. And then you go and cut it, but you're afraid to go all the way down. And then you're kind of like 80% down on the dryness, but, and then you buff it and then you get all the compound, the materials stuck in the, the dry pits and it just looks like crap. Okay. Then you're going to have to scrub it, wash it all out, resand it and repaint it. So um, I would say just get it flat as best as you can with 800 grit and then just load some clear on it. You might need to color sand and buff it afterwards, but it's nothing that um, a color sanding and buffing can't, you know, can't fix. It will fix it. Um, is there a difference between painting with metallic flakes and just using metallic paint? Um, well, you can use a metallic paint. Metallic paints have metallic in it. So if you're looking for that metallic paint look, find a good metallic paint and use that. And yes, absolutely, there is a difference. Um, when you, when you want to add metallic mini flakes or colored flake or rainbow flake, whatever it is you want to do, you need to think of that going on top of your paint. Okay, you're, You don't want to mix that in base coat or even single stage because... You're, number one, you're going to need a lot of it to get some sort of effect. And number two is if you put, you know, a tablespoon of metal flake in a single stage paint, like black or whatever, you're not going to see it. It's just going to disappear in the paint. The paint's going to cover the flake and it's just, you really have to load it on. So this is why you're going to want to spray your black base, right? And then you're going to want to put metal flake on top of it. So you could put that, you know, you could mix your metal flake in a clear coat, um, which is an inner coat. Clear coat is inner coat. Um, they have inner coat, okay, that you can use, um, which is like a clear coat. And then they have DBC 500, which is like a clear base coat, okay? It's more, it'll dry on the flat side, okay? So there's a couple different kinds. You have inner coat, glossy inner coat, which is what House of Color sells um, for like candies and stuff. And then you got... Um, the PPG DBC 500, which is like a clear base coat you could mix and then you spray on top, which, which will give you that pearl effect on top of any color. So there is a difference. And you know, we cover all of this in Learn Auto Body and Paint.com um, as well. So be sure to check that out. Guys, if you haven't yet, smash the like button. Comment down below on your takeaways if you have any. Um, Barry Ladd says, I think VIP is so informational. I think you should give a certificate of completion after completing VIP. What do you think? Actually, people have been requesting this for years and years and years. I just haven't got around to it, but I actually have that in the works. We will be doing it. We will be offering a multiple choice course, you know, maybe about 50 questions after you guys go through the program. You can take this uh, little multiple choice. And um, if you pass it, you get a certificate of completion at Learn Auto Body VIP online and you just pay a small fee and we'll mail you like a little certificate with a plaque, a physical thing. You guys like that? And it, it'll be something to hang up on your wall. Why not? You know, I'm going to put one in my, on my wall. <laughs> but yeah, Barry Ladd, thank you for, uh, for sharing that because that's something we're going to be looking to implement this year, um, later on in the year, actually. Uh, what is the best paint gun to get if I'm shopping at Harbor Freight? Um, I don't mean, I mean, you could look into the Black Widow. I, I haven't actually reviewed it yet. Uh, we will be doing that. But I say if you're shopping, spend a little extra. The Black Widow is like, what, 200, 180? I would definitely look into the Atom X27 or 20 or even X20 if you're looking for a starter gun. 
uh, because with all Atom X spray guns, you get a free gun bud ultra lighting system. And I, I actually thought it was a joke until I strapped it on and started spraying with it. But it helps a lot. That little gun bud light system helps a lot and it works. You know, there wouldn't be there wouldn't be 200 ratings for it at four and a half stars on Amazon if it if it didn't work, you know. So I'm going to actually pop pop the link out here um, for the, the gun, but alone, um, let's see here. Um, so the X 20 is also two nineteen ninety five, 95 and you get a free gun, bud. Uh, I'm going to pop that link here just in case you want to do a little comparison and take, take a look at it right there. Um, and then if you want to splurge, get something a little better, you should look into the X88 spray gun, which is, which is the gun I've been using to paint most of my projects now, along with the X27. Um, so, yeah. Um, okay, so let's go back to the chat here. Okay, okay, okay. Can you put smoke colored into clear? Absolutely, you can. And the best way to do that is black base coat okay so if you want to make a smoke tint okay um like if you want to smoke out your tail lights all you need to do is mix up maybe about a not, i would say if you mix mix a pint have a pint of clear coat mixed up okay mix up a coat a, a pint of clear coat which is about this much okay something like this all right, and then you would put about a tablespoon of black base coat in it okay, to something like this, okay? Even, even if you were at three quarters of it, okay? You would put about a tablespoon of black base coat, mix it up, and that'll actually be your smoke formula to spray over your clear lenses or your, I got this cat popped out over here, your clear lenses or any, you know, your lenses to, to give it that smoke effect. Maybe we should just do that to, to these tail lights here, you know, instead of buying new tail lights. I haven't bought these tail lights yet, but I was thinking of getting the the clear tail lights for this, you know, with the um they have the chrome version and the or the black. But maybe I'll just sand these down and um and smoke them out. What do you guys think? And then we're also gonna be spraying, you know, painting all that. But here is the van, guys. The van's gonna look super cool. We're gonna really really pimp that thing out and then after the van we're going to be working on this and then probably after that we'll do the tesla all all probably going to be probably bang them all out this year guaranteed for sure uh, along with a bunch of new projects so hopefully that helps um i can't believe sand the lights and smoke them out i could do that that'll be an extra that'll be another video That'll be another video anyway. What's up, Black Rain? How to fade a color. Yes, we can do fading as well. Definitely. Here's some clear coat. Um, I need to... Okay. Question. When I have my sunglasses on and I see an awesome color, then I take it off. It's a different color. I wonder if you can tint the clear to give it that look. Yeah, absolutely you can. Absolutely you can. You could absolutely do that. And tinting it is basically putting like a candy tint in it. That's all it is. Okay, but you got to be careful spraying candy um because this is pretty cool uh because you really need to be a good sprayer have um your get your pressure set up distance flow super important when you're doing candy especially on a big you know big project All right, all right, all right. So anyway, yeah, dude, I, I kind of messed up, guys, today. All right, so any auto body questions, guys, type it in. I know there's a lot of probably a lot of new people on today that's never been on before um, because of the early goof up that I did. 
Yeah, we're getting ready. To, this week is going to be Maya's birthday party, guys. So we're like going to be setting up some birthday stuff um, very soon. We got a big gathering, people coming over. We're going to have a party um, on Friday. Maybe I'll take some videos and share it with you guys. It's going to be super cool. Um, and then we are heading out on Monday. Guys, type in the chat. Any auto body and paint questions, it's your time right now. Um, if not, I'm going to head out and call it a day, and I'll see you guys on next week. I don't think I have to. Maybe I'll just – should I just stay on for the next hour and a half, hour or so? We'll see. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like I, I totally screwed up and came on, came on early today. Okay, let me put a banner up here. So if you guys are brand new, you can get more info um, at learnautobodyandpaint.com right over there. Um, can you use binder or clear when spraying candy? Absolutely, I would use clear coat. I mean, clear coat is this stuff, okay? UKK01, uh, House of Color sells it as a candy carrier, but I, it's really just a clear coat, you know, renamed UKK01 urethane candy carrier. It's just clear. And and we tested it out. I tested it out on the Honda Ground project. You know, it's basically clear. I ran out of this stuff and I was like, let me just mix clear coat and use my clear coat, regular Acme Finish 1 clear coat. This is actually a good clear coat, guys. I'm impressed with this clear coat. Like I said, you can get a four-gallon kit for under 300, and it's a good clear because you know when, when you you know when you can tell if it's a good clear coat when it dries like this for a few weeks. Even you don't have to wait a few weeks when it dries like this and it still looks clear. You know it's a good clear coat. You, you know. You know how to tell if it's a bad clear coat when it dries like this and when you see it yellow. It'll cheap clear coats will actually turn and tinge yellow. This is a pretty damn clear coat for the cost. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this clear coat. Oh. <laughs> smells like clear. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Where's everybody to to get from? Oh, yeah. We got Russ in the house. What's up, Russ? I think everybody's sleeping. What's everybody up to? You guys all sleeping? I think everybody's sleeping. All right. If there's no more questions popping in, um, maybe we'll take a couple last ones and I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna maybe I'll take a nap. I have a vehicle. Negotiator says I have a vehicle that has a few places where the clear is coming off. Can I wet sand that and shoot more clear all over it to seal it up? Man, this is probably in auto body one of the most asked questions. One of the most, this is, this is a question. I just answered this five, 10 minutes ago in the video. So just rewind it and watch it again. Um, and I'll just recap. My answer is if you're going to go through all the prep process, okay, you might as well put a fresh coat of paint on it and clear coat on it. You know, there's no sense to try to fix bad clear coat by just clearing it again. Okay, because by the time you prep it, you're going to be going through the clear coat. You know, you're going to be sanding through it. You're going to be getting into the, the base coat below it. Okay, you're going to need to prime that area, block it, and uh, and finish it off. You know, just woke up at the crack of 4 p.m. Texas. Where in Texas are you going? I'm going back to my house. I'm going back to my shop in my house in Dallas next week. Um, to, to pack up a, a big container and get it over, get it over across the Pacific. That's, that's what I'm working on. So I'll be doing that. Um, so, you know, the van project guys, we're going to start next month. You know, we got a lot, 
Uh, we got a lot of things we got to do. All right. So, man, I feel really bad that, oh God, I feel really bad that, um, that we got people, we got people that are waiting to come on at eight o'clock and I'm here going to be bailing out. Maybe I'll just stay on for the next, I'll just stay on. Maybe I'll just stay on. And if you guys have, um, if you guys have questions, we could just, we could just answer them. You know, what do you think? Maya, you want to play darts? So we'll just go informal for now. We'll just go informal. Like, I feel really bad. When I smell paint from a fresh can or clear coat, I get the same feeling. Well, I mean, God, I grew up smelling that shit. I'm probably, we'll see how long I live. That's why my mind is gone half the time. That's why my mind is all, I'm, I'm so forgetful. Tony, me and my daughter are sharing the VIP membership. Is there any way that we both can take the test when you make it available? Absolutely, of course. We will figure it out. Um, we'll have two different, you know, we'll have a test for you guys. And it'll be, you know, you guys are going to have to pay a little fee for it. But, we, you know, we'll get it done and we'll mail it to you. Absolutely, Barry Ladd. Um, just stay in touch with us. And once we roll that out, um, we're just deciding on what platform to use um, to to basically roll out the test um, online so people can go. We could send people to a site. They could, you know, do the test and then we mail out a certificate. If you have any recommendations or ideas on the certificate, what you guys would like as a certificate, um, let me know. Would a PDF download suffice or would you want something in a plaque? you know, a cheap plaque, you know, nothing, you know, not a crazy plaque, you know, maybe a Walmart plaque, something where, where the, the certificate can go inside. Just, you know, let me know, comment, comment down below Barry and let me know if you have any ideas because I definitely want to do that. I've been have people been asking me about that. I don't know why I never implemented it, but people have been asking since 2010, since I released the program. Come here, Noah. Come here, Noah. Come here. Noah, come here. Take a look at Noah. Come here, Noah. Sit. Come here, sit, sit, sit. Look, look how big Nala got. Look how big she got. Look at Nala. You gotta wash her. Okay. I gotta hang this dartboard up. Lifetime VIP member here in Virginia. What's up, VW? I worked in a fiberglass company for a few years in my early 20s. That can't be good for your brain. Yeah, and your lungs. Hopefully you wore a mask. Can you explain the candy apple red concentrate? Not sure what you want as far as an explanation. The mixing ratio, what are you looking for? Oh, shit. Maya. Yeah. What are you doing? What? What you doing? Um. Okay. Watching live from Ghana. What's up, Sam? The certificate stuff is cool. However, your proof is the work you laid down in my opinion sometimes having a specific doesn't mean you know what you're doing but it will be cool yes i totally agree um but some people they just want to have that you know scholastic aspect of it i guess of having a certificate saying hey you know i know the process you know i know the process um but again if you can't do it you know it's a different story so you know it's cool it's cool if people want it you know, to, to show off or whatever. But then if you, you have it and you can apply it, then that's even better. Right. So I think it's cool. You know, whatever people, whatever you guys decide 
on how you want to do it. Both will be cool. Paper and PDF, Imperial Beach, California in the house. Cool, 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 cool. We'll figure something out. Thank you, Stefan. Um, I'm thinking of spraying it over a color changing pearl like red to gold. Would it work? Yes, it will work. But remember, if you're spraying candy over a color change, you're going to get less color change because the candy is going to be a tint on top of that. So you're not going to really see the gold. It'll be like a, another red. The gold will disappear. Shit. Oh God, no good. It's hard when you're, when you're sitting down. Oh God, Maya, I'm horrible at this. Um, all right, guys. So it's Tony here from Learn Auto Body. I know this doesn't look like an auto body thing. I'm playing darts, but this is a Q&A, guys. If anybody tuning in, you got um, any type of questions on auto body and paint, type it in the chat. We'll try to help you out as best as we can. Um, I came on a little earlier, so I'm just kind of killing time because we got guys coming on in about 18 minutes. Um, so I just kind of, you know, can he mix the pearl with the candy? Absolutely. And that's what I like doing. I like mixing flake with my candies. And I did that on the Grom project, actually. I spray a car and the paint is squeezing. Please help. I'm not sure what that means. Nelson Ramos, my thoughts on what? Oh man, it's starting to starting to rain. Yeah, it sounds like a reaction, but what kind of reaction? Well, are you talking about, are you talking about your, uh, your clear coat? Is your clear coat shrinking? Is your clear coat shrinking? Um, it's depend. I don't know. I don't know what it, like, I wish I can, you can send me a picture of that or a video, but it sounds like dieback where if you're using, it happens a lot on cheap clears. Um, you spray it on and then a couple of weeks go by and then it just starts drying up and looking dull. Is that what you mean by shrinking? Like it's, it's losing the shine, the gloss. Or what's shrinking? Did you use some kind of weird primer in the back underneath? And then that's shrinking, which is causing cracks in your, uh, your final paint job. Like Hard for me to imagine because I've seen so many things going around with paint. And then when you kind of come up with a vague, just shrinkage, like this is hard for me to, hard for me to, to, to see what exactly what's going on. Uh, Nelson said, should I buy a flat clear coat or try the powder mix first time doing a flat finish? You could actually get a regular clear coat and you could add flattener to it. They sell a flattener. I don't know what the number is offhand, but PPG sells a, a clear coat flattener, like a retard, retardener. How do you say it? Retard, retardener. A retard, you know, finish where it retards the paint. Oh, shit. 
but they have a flattening agent that you could mix in regular clear coat. Hi guys. <laughs> Hi guys. You gotta show them. Guys. You gotta show guys. them. Guys. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> you said it again. You're 13 and you still said hi, guys. I hit the green the, right next to the bullseye three times before that. She's going to be 13 next week, guys. Well, actually on Friday. Nelson Ramos, what what type of um, clear coat do you plan to use if you're going to get a flat clear? Let me know. Type it in the chat just so I kind of can see what you guys are, what you're working on. Um, VW says, working outdoors, I had a reaction with paint because there's a lot of moisture in the air and definitely had to redo my work on a clear day. Um you know, from what I noticed painting out here, it doesn't matter if it's raining outside or humid, as long as your shop is clean. Like I've never had issues with paint and clear um, with it raining out. I just never had any issues. So, you know, I don't know if the moisture in the air really does a lot because I really don't think it does, honestly. You know, but try to paint in a nice day. Um, I, and it also, I think it just depends on how mo how much moisture is in the air. Oh, she's getting big. My daughter turns twenty in September. Okay. That's crazy. Dad, I am like one centimeter away from the blue. I mean, oh the green. God. Let me try. I'm better than <laughs> no kidding. You're better than no kidding. No, but like I got, I got the green right next to the uh, bullseye before you did, and I did it three times. So can you guys see where the darts are landing? Not really. I don't know. I'm asking them, Dad. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. Crap. Is that UPS? Wait, who is that? Is it? No. This was the little girl in his earlier videos. Time flies. Mine turns 31 next month. Oh, my God. Yep, that's the little girl in my videos. She was the little girl in my videos. Now she wants to take all the spotlight. She's like, Dad, scooch over. It's like, Dad, scooch over. Now let's stop. Hello, Tony. With that beautiful weather every day, why would anyone want to be painting during the day anyway? I probably would work from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Well, believe it or not, I do hit up the beach multiple times per week because <laughs> the beach is like right down the road. So we go, there are weeks where we go to the beach every day. <laughs> so we are enjoying the beautiful weather. We are enjoying the beautiful weather. And um, yeah, I try not to paint in the middle of the night or at night because of the bugs. I like to paint early morning or early afternoon. Well, early evening, you know, like five, four, five, six p.m. is a good time, or eight, nine, ten a.m. is a good time to paint. Uh, you know, depending. But I don't like to paint at night because you know when you're in your garage, you got your lights on, tracks bugs. You know, you learn the hard way. Unless you use gun bun. Unless you use gun bud. And it works really well. I'm telling you. How many newbies on here, guys? Just 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 so we can get a quick little tally. How many people on 
that have never been on before on our Q and A here. Where, where should I should go? We got We still. We just got that this morning. We got to hang it. We got to find a good place to put it, and uh, and hang it. Uh, the clear coat is called Alsa Platinum PTC two two hundred. Clear coat attracts bugs like crazy. Gun bud, yes, it does. <laughs> I watch your videos, not many lives. Oh, cool. Well, I'm glad you are on live with us. I'm glad you are on live. When we start working on the van, guys, we will be doing lives while I'm working on the van um, because there's a lot I want to show you, but we're going to be recording every step of the process on that thing also. Um, so it's going to be a fun project. It's going to look cool. The van's going to look amazing. I promise. Are we going to put flames on it? I don't know if we're going to do flames. We should do it. I'm thinking like striping it out like beach van style. How many kids do you have, Tony? And do they have interest in painting? Well, I have two girls and um, I don't. I would rather them not even get into the industry, to be honest, because of the, it's just toxic. And I don't know, when I was growing up and getting, doing auto body, like hardly any girls did it, you know, very few. Now it's like, you got whole tribes and groups of girls painting. It just, it's just kind of weird to me. I don't know. I just think that, I don't know, maybe, you know, I just think w women should be doing something else. I think auto body is like, I don't know. Maybe that's just me, you know? Um, I don't think it's a very healthy occupation, you know, because you're around toxic materials. It's it's toxic stuff, you know. I, I like to do it as a hobby, and I like to teach it, you know. That's that's where I get my, my fix from, I'm doing it on my own custom cars. I get to pimp out whatever I want to drive um, and just have fun doing it because I'm – I'm not a detailed artist, but I'm an artist when it comes to painting and colors and that type of stuff, you know, but I'm not a very good, tell me to, to, to do a portrait, you know, I'm not going to do very well when it comes to, draw, you know, drawing a portrait of somebody. Uh, do I think it's a greasy job? I don't think it's greasy. I think it's dusty. You know, it's a dusty gig um, with a lot of chemicals, you know, but that's why you got to protect yourself. Um, yep. First time, thanks for answering your questions. The guy at the local paint store don't share just up sales. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why they don't share so much over there. I've seen, you know, so many paint reps talk to guys next to me. I'm like, dude, you don't have to sell them all this stuff, man. What's up, Harold Schwinn? Long time no see. Lifetime VIP Kansas. We're on early today. We, we are on an hour early and we're just going to keep going for a little bit longer because I just feel so bad. Um, new to Q&A. My little one is 13 as well. What's up, Roger? What are you working on? Give me some feedback, guys. Uh, Maya is actually a really good artist. You know, I don't want her to get into the automotive paint side. I think she's more creative than that. I think she could do a lot more um, with, with different things. I do music. She's very good with music. Oh, that one's cool. She's hilarious. Girls can do it all, Tony. Painting, welding, construction. Yeah, I know. I know they can. I know they can. Maybe I'm just too old school, you know? I don't know. But, hey. Let them do it. I'm not stopping anybody. Tony says, the best men in the world are named Tony and have two daughters. Of course, I'm including myself in that comment. Expect, except I have two daughters in their early 30s. You're funny, dude. Yeah, I Steve Clark. What's up, Steve Clark? Welcome from Honolulu, Hawaii. Well, I'm not in Honolulu. I'm in Haleiwa. <laughs> Ooh, 
Am I trying for the boy? I don't think so. I think I'm done. I'm, I'm surrounded by females. I got two girls. I got two female dogs. And, and, I, and I have girls. 14 hens. All we have but that's another boy is a cat. <laughs> a couple of square bodies and a Jensen Healy in the garage. Cool. I want to get a nice little classic car, like a small one. You know, I'm thinking MG size, but something cool. You know, the bug-eyed Sprite is a cool little car. Maybe a little Nissan 280Z or these old Datsuns or something small and convertible. Like something. I don't know yet, but I want to get something small um, for the next classic besides the uh, 67 Chevelle, which is not small. Kenneth, what's up? Kenneth says... Newbie, watched a lot of videos. Thanks for everything. Sprayed wheels on my 41 Packard, and they came out perfect thanks to you. Awesome, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, not sure if you checked out Learn Auto Body, but if you guys are looking for more info on that, um, on Auto Body, just hit this link here, grab your free training, and um, check out VIP, maybe. You know, maybe. Would love to see you in there as a member. Uh, what else? Ooh. Stefan, I have a blue 2008 Mazda 3. Paint is bad. I want to paint it that red metallic on the new Mazdas, but don't know how and no garage. Well, uh, that that paint is a tri tri coat paint job, um, and it's a very expensive paint job. And what is the name of that paint? Does anybody know the name of that Mazda red paint? I think it starts with an S. Sol not solar red. What is it? Tip of my tongue. It is a beautiful red, though. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those thinner fumes can really knock somebody out. My neighbor hates me. <laughs> Alabama. Chilling in Alabama. All right, let's see if we get a spike of people tuning in. People are supposed to be tuning in at 8 p.m. And we'll go ahead and do those questions and, uh, and hand out. I've been on here for an hour already because I'm such a meatball <laughs> that I came on at 1 instead of 2 p.m. <clears throat> Sam Stone, what's up? Newbie here. Thanks to your videos, I was able to body and fill and rattle can a 94 Mazda pickup, polish the rest of it to bring it back to bring back the old paint. Looks great. That is awesome, Sam. Send us some pictures and a little testimonial, man. And uh, hopefully soon, Sammy, um, Sammy boy, we will uh, we will get more pictures from you and maybe you'll complete uh, a real, you know, a real 2K paint job in the future you know i'm looking forward to seeing that as well so thank you for tuning in sam I'm from texas where in texas i'm actually headed to texas next week good old texas all my exes are in texas what? it's a song oh. like what <laughs> all my exes are in texas That's a sad song hi i have an audi q7 i want to repaint Current paint is like gunmetal gray. I have no garage. How do I start? Well, you can start under a tent just outside San Antonio. You can start outside, but you're going to have to find a place to, to paint it. You know, you're going to have to rent the spray booth or, or rent the garage where you can basically get it done. You know, I would go to the industrial, uh, you know, areas where they do auto body in your, in your local area. I don't know where you're from. Um, and then ask them, Hey, will you rent your spray booth to me? There's a lot of shops that will, um, if not, you know, find somebody that will rent you some space where you can set, you know, do a little, have a little setup there where you can paint. <laughs> oh God. Hey, Tony painted the Prius front plastic bumper silver. And for the most part, it turned out pretty well. 
I shot it in my garage with door open at 80 degrees. I learned you must have good lighting. Yes, absolutely. RMH Nevada um, lighting is key. And that's why you need to get the GunBud Ultra lighting system. Did you check this out? That thing, I love that thing. I thought it was a joke until I sprayed with it. Uh, she once came out yelling that I was blowing those toxic fumes in her lungs. Yeah, you always do get some fumes past the mask, but that's why you got to, why you should spray outside. <clears throat> and you also got to be cool with your neighbors. Nelson says, I just got my 80 gallon two stage compressor. So Campbell, I'm a newbie. just wanted to paint my own cars. I do do detailing. I love paint corrections. That's awesome, Nelson. You've been on for a while. I've been seeing you jump in the chats every now and then. You've been you've been kind of tuning in for a while. So keep at it, man. Um, okay, let's see. Sam says, now that I have the knowledge, I think I'll do the rock chips on the front of my Volvo S60. The hard part will be taking it off and getting it back on. It's not that hard. You know, <clears throat> jack it up. <clears throat> you might want to pull your front wheels off. And uh, put some, you know, horses under there, jack stands, and just take a, you know, look and see what needs to come off. There's probably going to be a lot of 10 millimeter bolts, you know. Once you start taking off your your under your undercarriage plastics, your wheel well plastics, you'll be able to get to um, all the little screws and bolts that hold in your bumper cover from underneath. And just little by little, you know, don't don't rip it off, you know. Just see, kind of pull it. Sometimes you're going to need to pull. Pull part of the bumper cover to see like what's holding it, and then you'll see another screw there, and you'll get that, you know, little by little. Uh, I don't, you know, pulling off panels is not a huge deal. Just uh, and then and then you got good old YouTube, you know, YouTube, you know, YouTube it. They'll probably it's probably somebody pulling off a panel that shows you how to do it. Um, yeah, so I'm sure you'll get it. Then Mazda Soul Red, is that the name of it though? Soul Red. I thought it was another solar flare red or some type of soul red crystal. I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, what's a good gun that doesn't use a lot of CFM medium compressor, 20 gallon? Uh, yes, I would definitely go with a low volume, low pressure if you're using a, a small volume tank like that. Um, you could look at the X-20, 27, or 88. Those are all three good guns. Uh, but then look at the low-volume, low-pressure version of that gun. Um, and then also, just keep in mind, guys, if, you, if anybody, anybody out there, if you guys invest in Atom spray guns, you get a free gun bud ultra lighting system with the gun, um, which is a cool add-on. So definitely check that out. <clears throat> I purchased RV wheel covers to cover the wheels while I'm painting for like 24 bucks on eBay for all four covers. Excellent. I'm trying to find a cheap binder. Gallon, are you looking for base coat? Binder. I mean, the only binder I've been really using is the DBC 500 by PPG because it just works well for me and I just never looked anywhere else. Um, maybe I'll look around and test some other products and, um, you know, recommend them to you guys if they're any good. All right, guys. So what's up? Tony here from Paradise Garage and Learn Auto Body and Paint.com. Just chilling with you guys today. Um, it's about 8.05 p.m. Eastern. We're looking for new auto body questions right now. Um, if you guys have any, let me know. Type them in the chat right now. Um, if not, I'm going to head out because I've been on here for an hour and 10 minutes and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm like, I'm ready to do something else. If, if you guys don't have any questions, but if you guys have the questions, keep pumping them in because I will I will help you out. Tony, 
how fast is too fast when painting and when should you dust on the paint? So um, you want to dust on the paint if you are having chemical reactions somewhere and you kind of want to test, test it out and see how it's laying on. That's number one. You want to dust on metal exposed areas. Say, say you have a car prepped up and you're ready for painting and you're like, oh crap, I got a little bit of metal showing on the corner here of my hood or my door or whatever, right? You got some metal and you're like, oh man, um, you have a couple options. You could spray a little 1K rattle can primer on that, or you could just dust your base coat on top of that. And sometimes I'll just dust it. So that's another time when you might want to dust because you don't want to just lay it on the metal right away because it might bite against the edge of your prep surface. It might. Um, that's why you want to dust it, you know, with a lot of air, a little bit of material, get it coated, and then you just follow through with your paint job. Talking about neighbors complaining about paint in our garages. I was priming my hood in the garage and my neighbor walked on my car to tell me the smell was killing her. <laughs> well, it is a pretty toxic smell, guys. You got to be cool with your, uh, with your neighbors. I use Dynaco binder for my flake job. It's very inexpensive and work well. Arnold, where did you get that? That's a good tip. Where did you get that, Arnie? Arnie, Arnie, Arnold. eBay? Let me know. I might look into that. Dynacoat binder. Good, good tip. Thank you, Arnold. So this is this is our exhaust fan for our shop here. We just turned this on. But my neighbor's house isn't that close, so we're we're good out here. Uh, where in Texas you're gonna be? I'm gonna be in North DFW area, Denton area. Um, just I'm gonna be busy, so there's no meetups. All right. So if you're thinking of a meetup, I'm sorry. Like I got too much. I can't be messing around. I, I only got ten days there, and I'm gonna be busy like hell for those ten days, no doubt. Advanced Auto Parts sells Dynacoat. Oh, cool. Tony, have you ever done pinstriping freehand? That's something I. I've never really done it before, um, kind of just playing around, but I have all the little, the brushes, I invested in all the little brushes and all that, and I got it, I got some striping enamel because I, I actually want to start learning it. You know, you need to have a real solid hand at doing it. I'm really good at vinyl pinstripe, you know, pro stripe, any type of decal pinstripe with decals i'm good i'm really good with that but i haven't spent a lot of time with actually freehand pinstriping um but you know you never know it's just practice you know it's, it's how much you do it Hi, tony are houses with space like yours expensive how many years of automotive repair um well, I mean, I guess it depends. In Dallas, in Texas, land is cheap. In, in Dallas, land is cheap. In Hawaii, it's pretty uh, pretty expensive here. So this place was not cheap. I mean, we are on an acre of lush tropical land, as you can see. It's my backyard. You know? Um, but, yeah, it's it's. I wouldn't say it's cheap out here. How many years automotive experience? I've been working on cars and started on motorcycles and mopeds when I was 12 years old. So I, I've been wrenching for a long time. Uh, wrenching and then painting, painted my first car at 15. And um, I've, been, I've been doing it for a long, long time, you know. <laughs> Crazy. Okay. Can you answer my question above, Bobby? Bobby, Bobby B. Where's Bobby B's question here? Bobby. Bobby B, I don't see your question. Can you just copy and paste it quick? I j all I see is, can you answer my question? I don't see your question. Um, Bestine, can I spray clear coat over gloss paint? I have some, I have some in shiny area. Can I spray clear coat over? Yes, you can spray clear coat. Um, over gloss paint, but you need to sand your gloss paint. 
Okay. You need to scuff it with about 800 grit. Then you can put new, uh, you can put new clear on it. Dynacoat spray binder. This is the spray binder. I got to look into that. And that's from advanced auto parts, huh? Dyna. Quick spray binder, $109 a gallon. 5759665. That's it. Cool. I'll look into it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, Tony. I truly learned more from you than I did working at my uncle's body shop. I really appreciate having your, you here to help us. Thank you, Tony, man. Thank you, Tony. Thank you for, for the wonderful comment, man. You, I mean, the, this is the stuff I, I, this is, why I do what I do, you know, to help people out and to get comments like that, you know, it makes it worth it. <laughs> it makes it worth it. Um, will gloss fill 800? Absolutely clear will fill 800 grit. Um, Bobby B, I, ha I don't see your question yet. All right, so for all you newbies just tuning in, guys, I'm going to go ahead and plug a link here. Um, if you guys want to get more training on auto body, okay, um, hit up learnautobodyandpaint.com um, and get that free auto body training guide and videos because we're going to be sending you videos right over here. And hit the like button, guys. Um, AA says, Tony, I just shot my first complete car. I had the 3M masking tape on for months. When removing it, the masking tape left the silicone on my car. How would you remove that silicone? Um, if it's on the moldings, see, that's why you never want to leave tape on more than a week. If you're using good masking tape, then maybe two weeks at the most, but indoors, not on the outside with sun hitting it, you know? Um, you could remove it on moldings with lacquer thinner. That's the only way. Okay. You're going to need paint thinner, not the cheap stuff, but lacquer thinner. Or if you want to use something a little less uh, harsh, then use reducer, like any type of automotive paint reducer. Okay. Put it on a rag and just take the glue off. It's unfortunate, but that's the only stuff that really takes it off. Um, and then once, if you use lacquer thinner on, on black rubber moldings, it'll come off. Uh, what you want to do is put some vinyl protectant on it afterward because it'll just it, it'll it, it's not going to kill it but it'll kind of dry it out it'll take the moisture out of the rubber but it really clean actually lacquer thinner is a good rubber cleaner um it, it's re it'll really like repurpose and make it like new again it really it really does the trick um but then you have to put a cream on top of that like a um a vinyl conditioner or a cream on top of that. You know what I mean? What would you say the most difficult car to repair? I don't know, man. I mean, it's a, that's a very vague question. <laughs> and when you say repair, what do you mean? Paint repair, frame damage, you know, I don't know, auto body, like rust, like what do you, you know, it's, it's a very hard question to give him here. <clears throat> um, If in doubt, get the VIP worth the money on first project. Thank you, Sam Stone. Killer. I feel like shit. Feel like sharing any thoughts on isocyanides and disposable cartridges versus supplied air respirators. I know those 2K coatings can be super dangerous. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, paint fumes are not that good. I, I think the masks do their job if you have a shop that has good ventilation. But if you have a shop with bad vent ventilation and you're in there and it's just you, you're painting in fog, which I've done many times, um, I don't think it's that great. But you want to make sure you suit up. Um, I think if you can get access to the air fed systems, better yet. And if you can afford it and get into that, that's 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 an excellent thing. You know, um, I have one in Dallas. I got to bring back over here and hopefully I want to set it up here. Um, what I didn't like about the ver the one that I had was it just I had the hood style and like I could still smell the fumes with all of it set up. 
because it would blow air coming down on my face and it would just come out of the hood. Um, a few years ago in Dallas, I did a, uh, a review on the system and I didn't like it because I could still smell the fumes. I put my mask on. I just felt it was better that way. So, you know, I don't know. They have different air feed systems to where they probably have better ones now, like a full three, the three M one looks pretty cool. Um, maybe I'll, I'll get that one, you know, uh, but we'll see. I need to remove orange peel and compound with a DA polisher hasn't worked. I'm concerned about removing too much clear coat by color sanding. Any advice? Um, yeah, well, you could probably start with 1500 grit on a DA just to cut it, but then you're going to want to finish off by hand and blocking. You always want to finish off by hand and blocking. Okay, you can go use 2000 to 2500 grit to get it to where you want it and then use your compound and buff on top of that. All right, if you're going to be buffing over a dark color like blacks or super dark blues, you're going to want to probably sand 25 to 3000 grit uh, just to, to help yourself out a little bit more. You know what I mean? Roger that. So you've been spraying for ages. How are your lungs and health in general? I mean, I think I'm pretty much fine. You know, I go to the beach a lot. I'm fine. I work out. Um, I'm not, you know, look, I painted my first car at 15. By the time I was, I painted my bike probably at 13 and a half. Two stage singles, you know, two stage base coat, clear coat in a spray booth. Okay. Um, 13 years old, painted a ton of cars from 16 to 25, young age, young age. Okay. Did that was pretty much my full-time auto body hustle stage those years from 25 to 35. I slowed down a lot, did more of hobby projects, did my own projects. It wasn't like a day-to-day -day grind doing auto body for people. So it's not like I've been doing it every day for 25 years. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I do have a lot of experience and I've been doing it for a long time. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of happy that I don't do it as a job every day because that's something I never wanted to do. That's why I got out of it. Um, I just like to do it to teach. I like to do it to do my own projects. And that's pretty much it. I don't do customer jobs. Um, I do have a few jobs that are lined up from some friends of mine. They want to get their cars painted. I'll do it. You know, it'll be a, a way for me to make a good, a good chunk of cash, uh, plus make content for you guys. So why not, you know, killing two birds with one stone that way. Um, and I do enjoy that. I do enjoy it. I enjoy doing it, customizing my own projects because I'm a car guy. You know, I like working on cars. I like turning a beater into something like, wow, who did that? I did it. You know, who painted it? I painted it. I mean, that was a, a daily thing when I was growing up. I always had the coolest cars out of all my friends. I always had the best paint job because I was able to do it, you know, and then I ended up painting a ton of friends' cars in high school and in college, you know? Um, so, yeah, you know. So that's pretty much my story when it comes down to painting. Um, hey, Tony, my kid taped it to someone's bump, tap someone's bumper backing up a dent the size of a quarter. They took the car to dealer for repair. 1K, I'm sick over it. Yeah, it's stupid. So stupid. Why don't you tell the guy you'll do it? You'll do it yourself. So dumb. Uh, what grit should I rough up existing clear coat before I reshoot new clear? Bobby B, you should not just reshoot new clear um, unless you're putting a flow coat on. But 800 grit. 800 grit. Have you ever seen paintless dent removal on a plastic bumper? Um, not really. Not, not in person. I've never seen it. I mean, I've done some of it by pushing, heating up plastic bumpers, pushing pushing the dent out and then basically sanding the front with 80 grit, scuffing it up and reshaping it with body filler and, and repairing it. I've done that. 
but not like to a perfect pushing it out and yeah, we don't need to paint it, you know? All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I've been on for an hour and 20 minutes. Tony here from Learn Auto Body and Paradise Garage. I hope you guys are doing well. We'll come back on at 8 p.m. next week, Monday. Oh, shit, where am I going to be? Dallas, it's canceled, guys. There's going to be no Q&A next week. I'm going to be flying. I'm going to be on the way to Dallas. So no Q&A next week. Um, we will just play the next couple weeks by ear. If I can get on and do something there in Dallas, I will send a special email invite uh, to an auto body live Q and a during the week. Okay. But no, we're going to cancel it for next week, Monday, uh, until I get back here on our, our regimen back in, ha back in Hawaii. All right. So it's Tony here for, uh, at learn auto body. Thank you for tuning in. I'm just going to drop this link again for, um, for learn auto body and paint. Um, I will definitely stream live in Dallas. I'll take some footage, some videos, um, you know, basically at the shop showing you some of our old projects. That'll be a video, you know, make a video just showing you the old projects we got there. Some of the motorcycles, some of the mopeds, the, some of the, the trucks, the cars, and some of the stuff that we got there. And um, I will be in touch from Dallas. All right. See you on the flip side. Thank you, Dan. And um, thank you, everybody. And if you guys are looking for awesome spray guns, uh, medium grade, but very good spray guns, check out Zula.com. Um, it's the Atom X spray gun line, the guns that I use uh, when painting all of my projects. So I'll see you guys later. Have a great week. It's Monday. Talk to you soon. Peace out. Thank you for tuning in. You'll be 30 minutes from me, Tony. Enjoy Texas. Yeah, I'll be streaming. I'll stream live at least once from Dallas while I'm there just to give you a heads up. Um, and then we will see you back here and we'll be banging out the van project um, in August for sure. Aloha, guys. Um, thanks for tuning in. Peace out. See you later. Alligator. Aloha.